This artifact belongs to June Davis, one of the first freedom writers in America's struggle for human rights and civil rights in the 1960s, and one of the leaders of the Atlanta student movement. June attended Spelman College and graduated in 1961. She participated in the sit-ins that were conducted at Rich's department store, Woolworth's lunch counter, Walgreens, and others. She donated this letter so that students of today may see the reality of what she and other students faced in October of 1960. This is a letter from Spelman College President Albert E. Manley that was sent to the parents and guardians of each Spelman student in October of 1960. Dear parent or guardian, this letter comes to you at this time because of the resumption of activity on the desegregation front by students in the Atlanta University Center and the possible participation by your daughter who is enrolled at Spelman College. Demonstrations may include sit-ins, stand-ins, kneel-ins, and related activities. Some, if not all, of these activities could lead to arrest and jail terms if bail is refused. Spelman College sympathizes with the students in their goal to achieve full human rights. Although we shall continue to consult with and offer advice to the students, the decision whether or not to participate in demonstrations is one to be made by each individual student. Therefore, the institution cannot accept responsibility for your daughter's participation in any of these demonstrations and the possible consequences. Thus, I am writing you because I feel that as a parent, you should know what may take place and can therefore advise your daughter of your attitude regarding her participation. Please write your daughter concerning this matter at your earliest convenience, and I would appreciate it if you would send me a copy of your letter to her. Sincerely yours, Albert E. Manley, President, Spelman College.